talk. And we're at the Blanche Two Hill Auditorium on Umsel, University of Missouri, St. Louis. And that's apparently Blanche Two Hill. Which looks like Patricia Rutledge to me. called pie with the uh, the geometric symbol pie I hope so, because space needs you. I attended TED Talk in St. Louis. TED stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design. And it's supposed to be non-political and non-religious, just people, experts talking about things or people talking about subjects that make you think and get you to think and maybe make a difference in the world, okay? Beforehand, they had, like, pizza and, and some curry and coffee and soft drinks and stuff like that free that you could eat and drink and some kind of entertainment. And then it went, started, well, it was a little late. It was 6 till 10.30. Uh, there was a woman that talked about transplant surgical centers, that which are outside the hospital. There are their own surgical center for transplants. They take care of all the records of people that need donors and donors and stuff like that so really a great thing transplants have gone have tripled since they've opened these independent surgical centers there was a fellow that talked about an application on your phone your uh, smartphone for being safe I don't think 911 that's our emergency number he said, well, it only works on landline. I don't know if it does or not, but it's some new application he was t touting. Then there was some kind of modern dance group. Yeah. There was a music group called Foxing, F-O-X-I-N-G. Some young fellas. They were okay. An architect talking about designing intelligently, which was interesting to me. A Peace Corps worker with a loaf of bread talking about living in Africa and teaching a small village how to make bread. I thought every culture knew how to make bread, but apparently not. Then the big lady talking about smirching. Word smirching. She takes a word like liberated and inhibited and mixes them together and calls it inhibr inhibernated. That kind of thing. And she started talking about Michael Brown and Ferguson. <sighs> the kid that was caught, that killed by a cop three or four years ago. It's a very, very touchy subject here in St. Louis. And then there was a girl that called herself some kind of organizer, but she was basically one of the protesters. And she did a talk and got all these college kids all riled up. It's like, excuse me, what happened to the no politics? People, I don't know, man. It, the whole story is never heard, only parts of it. And people just take and grab a hold of what part they want and they can run with it. And I, I just, I was out to learn stuff not to rehash narrow minded. Uh, St. Louis is really bad for that. They, someone quoted that the statistics of St. Louis is the number one uh, prejudice and whatever. It's a city that is just 
in bad shape about that. Uh, there was a... Did I talk about the doctor? There was a, a woman doctor in a spacesuit. She was training. For a year she trained in small quarters with other doctors. They're learning to grow vegetables and and live as if they're on a space station because she said that's the direction we're headed. And a man talked about a train called Hyperloop which is a train that runs through a tube very fast speed. They want to build it from St. Louis to Kansas City and 650 miles an hour you'll make it to Kansas City in 26 minutes. Takes five and a half hours to drive there. So <clears throat> That was my Friday night, and uh, we've got pumpkin carving ahead of us and uh, other interesting stuff. Yep. Well, that's it. So I will catch you later. Upward and onward.